What's up, y'all? It's Aaron from Aaron's Aquatics, and holy f it has been a minute since we last talked. Uh, I owe most of you an apology for not keeping everyone in the loop, though if you follow me on reef to reef or Instagram, you know what's going on. Either way, I wanted to spend just a few minutes telling you what's going on with me and the future of this channel. So let's sit back and let's do this. First, let's talk about where I've been and what's been going on because a lot has changed, a lot. Um, as many of you know, uh, I had a series of unfortunate fish-related disasters which just came one after another. I'm talking about Velvet, Brucanelia, uh, Euronima, Ick. I, by the way, I'm, I don't know if I'm even pronouncing Euronima right, but that's how I know it. Um, luckily, none of this ended up in my main display, but trying to add new fish through my quarantine process was just a nightmare. I tried changing vendors each time, but each time I kept pulling the shore stick. Seeing fish die over and over ended up just killing me inside. Uh, I mean, the final straw was my scribbled angelfish, which succumbed to uh, Brucanelia. Um, I followed the normal procedure of a five-minute freshwater dip to just kind of deal with the initial issue, and then I did a dose of Metroplex, but the fish was already too weak, and it died in my hands. Um, I sat there trying to run water through its gills, but it just it was a lost cause. After all of that, I, I just had it. Um, I had to take a step back from the hobby, and I ended up breaking down and selling my 210-gallon tank. Um, I gave the fish to a good friend of mine along with some of my Acropora. Um, almost all of my Acros are doing great in his tank, actually. Um, I wish I had some photos here, at least some video footage, but I don't. Um, I did lose one colony, and that was my ASD Rainbow Millie. Um, but, uh, I mean, if you ask me today if I regret selling it, I'd probably say yes, but at this point, I just needed to reevaluate what I wanted from the hobby and, and how best to get that. In that spirit, and I mean, to talk about something a little less depressing, I have reevaluated what I want from this hobby, and I fully plan on committing myself to a stable and happy reef system. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram or reef to reef you would know I am deep in the process of building a new system from the ground up. This will be a 225-gallon peninsula-style tank with a strong focus in Acropora. Now, the tank is currently under construction by the guys over at Crystal Dynamic Aquariums and should be completed within the next five or six weeks. But I do have a lot of work to do before the tank gets here. Coupled with that, I am making a lot of changes to my approach on both keeping fish and coral keeping. So please stay tuned on this channel for more weekly updates. As a bonus note, the freshwater tank I built a long time ago is still going strong. I've added some shrimp, a handful of neon tetras, and a betta fish who I've named Cosmo. I swear, he's such a puppy dog. In any case, I wanted to keep this video short, but one last thing I wanted to mention is that while I was not posting videos, I did end up getting engaged while I was overseas in Japan. I now have to blame my fiance rather than my girlfriend for why I can't buy just one more tank. Just, just one more tank, I promise. Jokes aside, I am truly grateful for her support for me in this hobby, and I hope she can bear with me and the house for being a mess while I set up this new tank. Thanks all for clicking this video, and I will catch you next time. Peace!